Hello, welcome to Earth Global Back Again. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five main nutrients, carbohydrates, protein, lipids, vitamins and minerals, and fiber. And in addition to that, water and about the, the balanced diet under the topic nutrients in food. First, let's talk about the first um, um, nutrient in order carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are um, aldehyde or ketone compounds with multiple hydroxyl groups. Uh, the carbohydrates that we take are in the form of sugar and starch. They give energy for our body. Uh, examples for carbohydrates are hoppers, jack types and string hoppers. Next is protein. Animal food such as fish, eggs, milk, meat uh, as well as plant foods contain proteins. They are used mainly for the growth and the repairment of our body. Lipids. Nutrients which supply high amount of energy for the body is known as lipids. Uh, the function of lipids is to supply energy for our body. Oils um, that are in liquid nature are mostly found in plants. Fats which are solid in nature are highly abundant in animals. Some uh, examples for some food items rich in lipids are ginger, curd, egg yolk, coconut and butter. Next, vitamins and minerals. The um, vitamins and minerals are required in smaller amounts and also vitamins and minerals protect us from diseases. These are important in maintaining good health and thus they do the productive function too. Um, so here's the table of vitamins and their sources. The source of vitamin A is called liver oil, liver, milk, butter, carrot, yellow colored fruits, etc. For vitamin B, cereals, red rice, green leaves, green vegetables, etc. For vitamin C, lime, orange, guava, pepper, and vegetables. For vitamin D, butter, and uh, for vitamin D, too, we uh, use cod liver oil, eggs, milk, and fish. For vitamin E, wheat, green leaves, dark green vegetables, and cereals, etc. For vitamin K, cauliflower, cabbage, tomato, spinach. Fiber. The fibrous nature of the food is called fiber. Some food rich in fiber are unpolished food items, fruits such as umbrella, mango, guava, banana, pepper, etc., and vegetables such as potato, cabbage, carrot, drumsticks, bean, radish, etc., and cereals and grapes. Um, advantages of having food rich in fiber are to reduce the absorption of fat in the diet to our body, decreases the absorption of sugar, that means glucose, in the diet to the body, and prevent the constipation and reduce the risk of causing diseases like piles. So water, importance of water. We get water with our meals to a certain extent. 
but we should drink enough amount of water to maintain our good health. Water is mainly used in to cool the body surface, supply medium for cellular reactions, remove excretory products efficiently from the body and prevent the constipation. And the last point is the balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? Well, the balanced diet uh, contains some essential nutrients and fiber in correct proportions in your food blade. There's also a diagram called food blade that shows you the correct proportions that you should consume. Um, the unfavorable conditions due to the lack of balanced diet. The body does not show adequate growth or show overgrowth. Infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases are very easily caused. You can also become weak and lethargic, suffering from deficiency diseases. So now we have come to the end of this video, thank you for watching.